Somewhere in the Australian outback. Woo! <laughs> the women have left the men behind. Cheers! <laughs> Are you proud to be part of it? Hell yeah! Very proud. This is a secret place for secret women's business, where hundreds of women are gathering for a four-day campout to eat, drink, party, and dress up. Oh, uh, Alex. Nah, it's not your colour, really. I thought you said it was. This colourful event is a gathering of grey nomads without the men. Women from all walks of life, of all ages, getting way out of their comfort zone and travelling on their own. Almost all of these women have had to overcome something to be here. There are women who are terminally ill. There are women who are homeless. There are widows, divorcees. There are full-time carers who've managed to get this precious time off. But ask any of them and they'll tell you that the most important thing above all else is that they're here together. Well, you know, who needs a man? Man? What for? <laughs> but for women like Val Howard... Hi, Val here. I am on the trip of a lifetime. I can't wait. Woohoo! And her best friend, Meredith Banks. I have never done anything like this before and I am so excited. It's not so much about the destination. It's about the journey. It's really good to be travelling. I just love the freedom of it. And don't forget your baked beans. Oh, yeah. You need baked beans. Gotta have baked beans when well, there's no one's around. Val is 63, and her journey starts here at her home in Ye in country Victoria. Helping Val pack for the biggest trip of her life is her stepdaughter, Sue Ellen. No, I reckon that's it. OK. Shall we go and put it in the van? Then? How would you describe yourself, Val? Um, positive, friendly. Always fight, manage to find the, the brighter side of life, I think. Glass half full. Overflowing. <laughs> <laughs> She's off on a road trip around the country. Final destination, the Rollers Outback get-together. It's not the first time Val's toured Australia, but it's the first time without her late husband, Ken. Have a safe trip. OK. Love you. Bye. Bye. How would you describe Ken? Incredibly supportive of me for anything I ever did. Loved me like I'd never been loved before. Ken and Val were married for 30 years and were grey nomads up until Ken was struck down with cancer and died in 2016. I nursed him. I cared for him right up until the last day. Um, so, and, and I mean, he died at home, which was what he wanted and what I wanted too. Wanted, you know, yeah, that was, that was tough. Mm. What do you miss the most? Oh, just the... <sighs> everything. Um, the company, the, the companionship. Um, cuddling up together. So far, Val's travelled solo up the east coast of Australia. And for the last leg of her trip, Val's bringing someone with her. Meredith my old buddy. <laughs> Val's old buddy is Meredith Banks, who's taken time off from her desk job in Newcastle. The ladies haven't seen each other in years. How long have you two known each other now? Since 19... <laughs> <laughs> we met at high school in 1966. Wow. Yes, but we always kept in touch. And it's one of those friendships that you just 
pick up where you left off. I'd told her about the rollers. She said, oh, can I come with you? And I went, oh, yeah. Come on, dear. We're burning daylight. Coming. <laughs> Time tied and aircraft wait for no man. Or woman. Or woman, yes, thank you. Meredith's <laughs> leaving her job, her home, and her partner, Bill, behind. She just came home from work one day and said, guess what? I'm going to the middle of Australia with Val. Did you have a choice? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith deserves this, right? Yes, yeah, she's done remarkably well, um, given the circumstances that were thrown at her. Life hasn't been easy for her, and so um, anything that makes life easier and more pleasant for her now, yeah, is, is well deserved. When Meredith was just 30, and with three children under six. Her first husband, Bruce, collapsed after injuring his Achilles heel in a game of cricket just days before Christmas. He was rushed to hospital and died from a blood clot. The next morning, my kids woke up and I had to tell them they didn't have a father. Only the six-year-old understood because the other two were three and six months old. You had to raise three kids on your own. Did that change your outlook on life? <sighs> oh, it made me probably think that, um, that you don't sweat the small stuff mm -hmm. anymore. The house is dirty, so what? Mm. Your happiness is, you know, is far more important. Um, the health of your kids, that they enjoy their lives. I work very hard on their birthday cakes. <laughs> <laughs> you brought up your kids and this is your time now. That's right. <laughs> the pair reunited in Cairns and headed west. <laughs> They've had quite the journey so far, covering thousands of kilometres, spending their nights in Val's caravan, affectionately known as the Gecko. And where the hell did we put the jack in the Gecko? In the Gecko. You're great mates. Yep. Yeah, we are great mates. In the Gecko. Oh. <laughs> and after three weeks on the road and days of driving, laughing and singing, they finally made it. This is Ross River. More than 500 other women just like them who've travelled from all over the country, creating a traffic jam five kilometres long in the middle of nowhere. You're finally going up the hill! Get the IA! It's slow but orderly as the rollers take their places at this unique gathering called Stuck in the Middle with Yous. Michelle Lang is roller number one, a 44-year-old grandmother from Sydney who started the Rolling Solo Facebook page two years ago. I thought, wouldn't it be great to be out travelling and, you know, meet up with other women and perhaps were in the same situation as me where their partners or husbands didn't like camping or, you know, they were just women that were out on the road and that was where the concept began. Never did I expect it to grow to what it has in the time that it has. Cheers. Cheers, Yay! It's empowering, relaxing, educational. There are car maintenance classes. So you just twist it a bit, jiggle it a bit, and have a look. So this one says add. Mm. Ukulele classes. One eye. And a chance to meet fellow rollers. Just meeting so many lovely women and you just connect and um, swap names and numbers and I'll see you in, because I'm off to Uluru next. A few campsites away. Hello there. Good day. how are you? You must be Liz. I am. I find Liz Brown. Lovely to meet you. And nice to meet you. A veteran roller who travels and lives full time on a bus. And who are these little guys? Oh, they're my family. We have Angus and we have Maggie, who's 20 months, and we right. have Molly, who's 14 months. This is your family? This is my family. <laughs> and this is your home? 
It is. Would you like to have a look? I'd love to have a look. Liz is single, a retired cop, and has toured the country in this bus for the last 12 years. What's the best thing about being on the road on a, in a bus? Total freedom. Total freedom, and it's always positive because you're doing exactly what you want. And what's it like travelling with, with these three? Oh, look, I wouldn't be without them. They're just company. There's always someone there to welcome you, always someone there to wake you up. Um, I love it. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. Joe Drury doesn't have three dogs, but she has three sons and a husband she's left behind in Victoria's La Trobe Valley. Her escape is here in the back of what she calls her red rocket. So, Joe, this is your rig. This is my rig. Isn't it awesome? It looks fantastic. So where do you sleep? Well, I actually sleep here when it's really cold or if I need to be on the side of the road and feel safe. Yes. Sometimes you're not quite sure, so oh. this is a great place to sleep. Tell me what it's like being on the road by yourself. I love it. On your own. I love it. I don't have to cook for anybody. I don't have to, I don't have to vacuum a floor. I don't have to pick up after my children. They should be picking up after themselves. <laughs> you know, I don't have to think about tea. If I don't want to have tea, I don't have tea. So instead, around tea time, as the sun goes down, Joe and all the other rollers are rocking out with new friends and the only bloke in the campground. They to the walk, they to the walk of life. Did anybody tell you dancing needs a little work? <laughs> I know. People yeah. tell oh, me no, all I the time. Oh, right, oh, right, right. But you need to practice. Maybe you can teach me, Meredith. Certainly, certainly, certainly. And at the end of it all, a chance to reflect on life as a roller. <laughs> Independent and free from the pressures and expectations of home. What do you say to those people that are thinking about doing this? They say to me, but aren't you scared? What well, that was, that was what? My, well, I was going to say, is, is safety... Of no. what? Of what? Are we got to be scared what? of? What? I would feel more scared living in the middle of a huge city... For very good reason. ..than I am yes. ever am living out reason. here. Have a look at this. Yeah. How, what, what is there to be scared of? Have you had fun? I've had an amazing time, absolutely amazing time, um, just to see such a large group of women in one place at the one time is, is yeah, in, well, it's actually inspiring, really. And, and if you're thinking about it, get out there and do it, you know? You don't, don't wait. Do it in a tent. Do it in the back of your car. Do it in whatever method works for you that you can afford. Just do it. Don't wait. Don't put it off, because you don't know what's around the corner. Oh, it's a roller. Ah, yay! Ha, ha, ha.